Hey everybody, Laser Wizard here. Foxillion sent me their one of their latest additions. They just released an air pump to be used with air assist, which <clears throat> currently I exclusively sell on their website. And this pump comes with a lot of tubing and a short well not really short but it comes with a power cord this one plugs right into the riser this right into the pump if you don't have the riser then you're gonna need your own 12 volt power supply I've got a bunch of these laying around and you might as well outlet is here so I assume the inlet happens through these holes there is a power switch here is the power inlet and the power output adjustment so today I'm gonna test how well this guy performs and I'm gonna compare it to some of my other pumps and we'll get right to it all right for my first batch of tests I'm gonna cut out six squares from this three and a half millimeter plywood gonna do that through a light burn and then the reason I'm cutting them out is so that for the test I'm gonna run them all in the corner of my machine that way if there's any inconsistencies in height those will all be pretty consistent when they're all done in the same corner so I'm gonna do that right now So I've got four air compressors I'm going to be testing today. This one all the way on the left here is the Fox Alien air pump that just came out. It's got an on and off switch. You can actually adjust the output pressure. And it comes with a connector that plugs right into the riser control board. And that's nice because then it automatically turns it on and off for you. For all the rest of these you have to have your own control. In my machine I have a SSR solid state relay hooked up to the flood coolant output of my controller and that is a huge comfort of life upgrade. Um, this pump over here is an 18 watt pump. This one came with a machine that I bought. Some deluxe brand air pump. Just an aquarium pump and there's a bunch of different brands but they all have the exact same shape and casting this one right here this is the pump that i've been using for almost a year now this is a 32 watt pump the brand is viva home and it's been working very well for me but i'm also gonna test this airbrush pump i've had this guy a while i actually bought it for my cnc router but I think it might actually outperform this guy here. It says it pulls 2 amps at 120 volts AC. That's like 240 watts. So we'll see what actually it puts out. I've got this test grid set up. So I will do first the Fox Alien unit, then the 18 water, then the 32 water, and finally the airbrush pump. And then after these four, I will have a control and I will run it without the air assist and we'll compare all of them. Here are the pieces I cut out. Each one is the same thickness from cut from the same sheet. And we're going to try and make this test as consistent as we can make it. So I've placed one of the squares back in. Um, the piece that I cut it out from to use as a jig to hold it in the same exact spot um, and the first file that I'm gonna run I have the Fox Alien air pump hooked up and we're gonna see how well that performs so I'm gonna send it right now
All right, let's see how that came out. So, without doing any shaking or poking, although this one up here is falling out. Alright, we've got our first test result. On all the points where it started here, it leaves this little charred spot. I'm not quite sure why. We'll see if it does it with some of the other pumps. Alright, the 18 watt aquarium pump is up next. Well, here are the results of the 18 water compared to the Fox Alien pump. And a little comparable, the 18 watt pump um, actually I mean, it cut out better at 400 millimeters a minute, but not quite as good at 500 millimeters a minute. did not completely go through on the slowest speed so so far I'd say the Fox Alien pumps doing better than the 18 water up next is the 32 watt pump here goes the test for the 32 watt pump Okay, let's see how that came out. Alright, and here is the 32 watt pump. Compared next to the 18 water, it's almost identical. In fact, the 18 water did a little bit better. That's very interesting. Okay, next one we're going to test is the Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic Oilless Airbrush Compressor. Here we are, this is the airbrush compressor. And here is the airbrush compressor as compared to the 32 water the airbrush compressor definitely did better at the high speeds but you see no difference at the lower speed definitely works better and it is quieter
Okay, now I'm about to do something extremely crazy, something I do not recommend you guys try at home at all, and that's run a laser cutter with no air assist. But I'm feeling crazy today, and we're going to try it anyway, just to see what the difference can be. Here we go. Alright, I'm very fortunate that I didn't start any fires, although parts of this did catch or were smoldering. As you can tell by the very fat char lines along the right edges of these here. And here's what it looks like on the back side. Not clean cuts at all. I'm going to see what I can push through. It's funny, on the lower speed here, it actually cut less than at the higher speeds. And I believe what was happening is that they get charred and that soot just gets incinerated instead of getting blown out and then it forms like a harder to burn through barrier yeah these these are still stuck on pretty well along those corners but major difference here it is next to the airbrush compressor me when I'm cutting I usually do 350 millimeters a minute and four passes that way I always make sure that I cut through and I don't have to go through and make you know, cuts with the razor blade on the back side. Um, and without air assist, you know, it'd be a little bit more of a struggle here, and they definitely would not come out as crisp and as sharp. Okay, so here are the results of my testing. From left to right, we've got no air assist, box alien pump, 18 watt aquarium pump, 32 watt aquarium pump, and the Harbor Freight airbrush compressor. And I'm actually very impressed and surprised by the Fox alien pump. Um, it did it did as good as any other. It matched the airbrush compressor exactly, um, and it. My 32 watt pump here, it also performed exactly the same, but minus the 400 watt at the three passes. But the airbrush compressor and the Fox Alien pump are fresh. Um, this 32 watt pump I've been running for a long time, for a year now. So, you know, it might not be performing as well as it did on day one. Um, the 18 watt compressor surprisingly performs pretty good as well um i was not able to cut through in one pass at 100 millimeters a minute um one thing is definitely for sure you definitely do not want to be trying this without air assist um, not only is it a fire hazard if you're cutting but you know the cuts don't come out that great What I've done is I've gone through and I just used my finger with a light pressure to try and poke through all the boxes. That's why there's a few more missing here than they were when I first pulled it out from the machine. And some of these you could cut with a razor blade and get them through, but um, for this test I'm just using light pressure from my finger. Now the airbrush compressor is, I believe, the most expensive out of the bunch, but it is surprisingly quiet. 
can. I mean, it's... But for much smaller size, you get the Fox Alien pump. And it performs exactly the same. I didn't do a decibel test. Maybe next time I'll do a sound test and see, compare. I performed all these tests with the Fox Alien 20 watt laser module. That's the module that comes on the riser. And my air assist nozzle is designed to go right on. And there's a set screw there to tighten it down. And really, I think what's most important is to have a good quality air nozzle. Mine blows the air directly down where it needs to be. And it's a relatively tiny orifice hole. I've got it counterboard in there so that it doesn't clip the edges of the beam while keeping that orifice hole as small as possible. I'm really surprised that Foxillion pump is just barely larger than the actual laser module. And yet performed as good as the next best pump I had. I definitely think it's a good purchase. I personally used this external power adapter that I had from a spare machine. It can do up to 60 watts. Um, but the machine comes included with a cable that can plug right into the riser. Uh, I originally thought that the port on the riser control board was triggered by the M8 G code, but turns out that is not true. Uh, that port always has power when the machine is on, so you do have to manually flip it on and off yourself. In my setup, I've got an SSR solid state relay, and I took an extension cord and I spliced it and I intercepted the neutral line. The neutral line goes across the switched portion of the SSR and my air pump hooks up to that and there's my air pump and this relay is triggered by I believe anywhere from 3 to 32 volts and so I've got that hooked up to my controller here and that's turned on with M8 G-code, light burn and laser gerbil both automatically output that if you've got air assist turned on. So that's how my pump turns on and off automatically. That is a huge comfort of living upgrade, not to have to turn it on yourself. Um, output of my pump goes up and into my Y drag chain and then up and down my X drag chain and then right up into my nozzle and also very important on the inlet here here's the air filter the inlet and I've got a hose hooked up and it runs to the front of my enclosure that way I'm not sucking up all this smoke and soot that's getting blown down here very important so if you've got the LE 4040 or any other Gerbil control board, there's usually a coolant output port on there. Unfortunately, the riser control board does not have that output, but all the other controllers do. I really hope that you have found my video helpful. If you could, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. That way you can always be up to date to whatever I put out and release. Hopefully some more helpful stuff. And I greatly appreciate you sticking around and watching. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And I'll be seeing you soon.